What is up everybody? I'm here with the patch notes from April 3rd. Now, I know this is a little late, but I thought I would it would be a good idea to talk about it since there was a bunch of changes in it. But first of all, the most important thing, something that I've been waiting for since beta to happen, Shield of Vengeance is finally no longer dispellable. Um, now I can't say this is really even that helpful of a buff because most of the time Shield of Vengeance just breaks in two seconds anyways. But just for the off chance when it gets purged or may just spell steal it, it's not possible anymore, which is really nice. At least we have I, technically, I guess, a defensive other than bubble for magic damage, but it's still terrible. <laughs> so yeah, I'll go over the rest of the stuff now. Um, so big change, all DPS classes stats, uh, primary stats, so I think strength, intellect, and Agility all have been reduced by 5% and every single class's stamina has been increased by 5% So for Rep Paladin at least I'd say that's just kind of a buff Because Rep Paladin is so squishy with like 8% versatility when every other class has 30% So just slow and as it was before you would end up like dying in a rake stun with wall parry and PS on you and they'd still force bubble. So now it's slightly slower, so it won't, you won't lose bubble as fast as you did before. It just helps rep out a lot, in my opinion. Um, it also just slows the game down a bit. Uh, the game was going way too fast in the previous patch, so this is really nice. I mean, before the hotfix. So yeah, uh, now for more class specifics, Frost DK, 5% strike increase. I don't really like this. I hate when Frost DK is even viable in Arena. Because it's just an easy class, you just roll your face on the keyboard, blah blah blah. Uh, now this was an interesting one. Bear form, armor granted, and stamina granted was reduced by quite a bit. There is 75% less armor and 15% less stamina. So I guess druids can die a lot easier. I mean, I feel like they still died pretty easily previously, but maybe, I, I don't really know what their artifact traits or anything is, maybe it's necessary for something that they get in the future. Whatever, it's cool, Druids die easier. Uh, next up, Boomy nerfs. 5% uh, intellect reduction and full moon and half moon are reduced by 10%. I really don't know how important that is because I feel like, I don't feel like Boomies are really that strong, but maybe they really are. I just don't really see them too much to judge it off of. I know full moon can hit pretty hard, but it doesn't always hit that hard. I feel like Demo Warlock consumption is way scarier than a full moon nowadays. But whatever. Um, Feral Druids, 3% agility nerf. Uh, it's helpful for Rep Out at least. Makes jungle slightly less viable, which makes keep it slightly more viable. Um, Resto Druids got an intellect nerf also, which is also cool, I guess. Druids are super strong right now. This shouldn't even affect them at all, I don't think. They'll probably still be the best healer in the game. Uh, next, Hunter, MM Hunter nerfs. Uh, it's kind of annoying for Rep Paladin at least, but MM Hunter was so strong. It needed some kind of a nerf. It just chunks people with uh, True Shot up. Uh, next up, 5% in nerf for all mage specs. I really personally don't think that's anywhere near enough of a nerf for mages. Mages are so strong right now. WM, I think it's D or Pally, uh, is like the best comp in the game right now. It's insane. Uh, they probably need a bigger nerf than this. Uh, the Rep Paladin one again. Um, Priest, I have no idea if that's relevant or not. Uh, then Shadow Priest. Uh, look, I don't, I'm not sure exactly what Shadow Mania is. If it's just the overall healing from Vampiric Touch, that's pretty cool. It would make them less tanky, but... Based on what I've seen, they're still incredibly tanky, this patch, so I don't think it's really that big. Uh, next up, this one was kind of interesting, Sky Fury is nerfed. The cooldown is shorter, but it's only 20% crit. I mean, it's only 20% damage increase instead of 30% damage increase. Um, that's kind of helpful because so many comps that are just double caster can just global you it with Sky Fury down. It's really helpful to have it at least less but yeah um i have no idea if it, 
but let's see if it does. So yeah, that's about it for the uh, recent hotfixes. The, the past couple days haven't really had anything relevant at all. So nothing really to talk about, but pretty much game's gonna be slower. Class nerfs. Somehow they haven't nerfed Warlock, which is insane to me. Maybe they'll do it next Tuesday. Um, but yeah, hope this helped anyone out. Peace.